Chad. Chad. V-I-O. Bang bang bang. What? Bang bang go. Bang bang go. Bang bang there. Bang 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 bang. Bang bang go. There. Bang bang go. Bang. Bang bye. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. San Bonani, Dumelang, Absheni, Khuyenand. When I was a little girl, my mother taught me it was good to help. She encouraged me to help her in the kitchen. On Saturday evenings, we would prepare for the seven color Sunday lunch. We would boil some beetroot, wash and peel potatoes, grate some carrots, soak some tomatoes in boiling water, and chop spinach together. But onions, she asked me not to touch. She hated seeing tears in my eyes unless there were tears of joy. These days, I just put everything into a food processor. Quick, 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 it's done. Like that, I don't need help. Or buy a kitchen aid. a robotic vacuum cleaner, a washing machine, and a dishwasher. There's a variety of brands to choose from. Bosch, from the Germans. KitchenAid, from the Americans. Samsung, from the North Koreans, oops, sorry, South Koreans. And our local is Leke DeFi, a fantastic brand. If you are proudly South African, you should have DeFi in your household. Having all these aids means I never have to get my hands dirty. But then again, in a South African context where the unemployment rate is currently at 28%, 22% for blacks, four percent white. One percent yellow, one percent colors, a beautiful rainbow right here. But then the unemployment rate is currently 28%. It's the highest it's been since 2003. So, I feel privileged to create employment so I get help. Help. Help.
help. Help. Help. I get Gladys, the maid. She's wonderful. She doesn't steal. Maria, oh. I've known Maria since I was a baby. She's almost part of the family. Josephine, a servant. She's very cheeky, this one. Don't be. She's wonderful. Very obedient. Anna. Anna, my favorite. Oh, As we call, she's the domestic worker as we call a maid in South Africa to be politically correct. Having all these tools means I never have to get my hands dirty. I choose how, why, what, where, when, help. I control help. Just like cop traffic come. Traffic Com, the Austrian firm based in Vienna. Kopsch was awarded the tender to develop and control the wunderbar Vorsprung der Technik e tour system in Johannesburg. So far, the Camptonians have managed to evade the e -turns. Good for them. The Johannesburg Autobahn users, on the other hand, are forced to pay for the eaters. For their own good, of course, yeah. These eaters are collected by ETC, which of course is totally controlled by Kopsch. This is a little menage a or as we say in Vienna, ein, zwei, drei, nei, between the ETC, the Sanhal, and the Kopsch. This foreign direct investment is help, hilfen, with genuine Austrian euros. Our share of help must also help our share holders. They also help the poor South African economy can get a little less obese, yeah? This is also helping our shareholders help the Austrian purse to be more curvaceously voluptuous. As you say in your country, you are kopsch-tured. Anyway, this is sorghum. This red brick right here, two halves and five full bricks. I love the color. It always reminds me of the beautiful sunsets of Johannesburg. Sorghum is a very important grain, especially in the kingdom of KwaZulu-Natal, where my ancestors are from. It offers vitamin B1, and vitamin B2 and vitamin B3 and high levels of minerals like iron, copper, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium and potassium. 
and almost half a daily required intake of proteins and dietary fiber plus it's gluten free for those of you who are gluten intolerant so much better than wheat huh the chosen grain for the colonizers the pre-colonialist and post-colonialist the monopolizers and the capitalists sorghum is going to be the new trendy grain currently it's avant-garde soon it's going to be bigger than quinoa <laughs> for those of us of course who are following alternative grains huh? I'm going to give it a nice Italian name, like Sejina. <laughs> Sejina. Sejina. Just to give it a nice sex appeal. Because I tell you what, if I call sorghum Amabele, it sounds like I'm asking for tips. I know business use tits to sell everything. It's really disgusting. From appliances to tools and cars. It's pathetic. Feminists really hate it. Even tits to sell tits. Tell you what, it would be a gag idea to sell Amabele using tits. Doesn't work. In Wazulu Natal, we choose sorghum to make the Zulu beer. The traditional ceremonial drink, Ungombut. It's shared from a calabash, like the Holy Communion in the Catholic Church, and men sit in a semicircle, clockwise, they pass it. So this one, drink, and then pass it. Drink, and then pass it. Now this one doesn't want to this time. We'll take a turn, and then drink, and then pass it, and then it continues, and then this one, is, oh, oh. by the time this one is finished, he and runs across because this one is already thirsty, and he doesn't want to keep him waiting because he understands his turn is going to be even longer. So the quicker he gets, the better. Anyway, this continues. Ganjalo, 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 ganjalo. Ganjalo, 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 ganjalo. Really, ganjalo, ganjalo, ganjalo. Ganjalo, ganjalo, until the Zulu maiden brings another calabash full of mkombo tea. Anyway, Mkombo tea is, is drank uh, from a variety of, uh, variety of uh, situations. Huh? From funerals, weddings, baby showers, Virginity testing, huh? It's very important. After, when the girl has passed the test, though, not before. Anyway, the circumcision ceremonies, bar and bat mitzvahs, huh? And actually, two weeks ago at the art fair, Ngomboti was the artiest drink of the fair. <laughs> Next year, for the dance umbrella, the dancers have already embraced it. They find it nutritious. It's lush. It contains only 3% alcohol in it. <laughs> I love it. Plus, it's affordable. That's one other reason the dancers love it. <laughs> they don't get paid well, so, you know, they smoke too much. So, sorghum is just their choice. Anyway, on the 24th of September, which is Sunday, it's our Heritage Day. But this year it's also on the 25th, so we're having it twice this year, huh? On the 25th and the 24th. 
So we're gonna summer braai and drink and nai um bombot. Anyway, where are we? So it's really fantastic. I love sorghum. Take everything. Anyway, Zulus from around the corner, Guamai Mai. It's really down the road. You see the bridge? You just follow the bridge and then you take a left. That's where my Mai is. The Orthodox Zulus are there, you find them. They really get excited um, after drinking Ngomboti. They start dancing. Really, Zulu dance is one of my, you know, that's my pride. Almost the only pride currently. <laughs> my president really doesn't make me proud, but you know, I'm, I'm not orthodox, so. I'm the urban Zulu. Anyway, they start dancing. Zulu dance is one of our biggest tourist attractions, huh? The Germans from the big five, they rush all the way to Mai Mai every Sunday to witness the Zulu dance. It's number six after our big five, right? You know the big five, right? I'm not gonna explain it to you. So they start dancing. So the drum, the go. I need you to keep this rhythm for me, especially if you want to see the Zulu dance. I mean, you can. It's really fantastic, guys. I love it. Keep going. Anyway, the boys, keep going, don't stop. The boys, look. And the girls, look. And the men. Usually they fall, but I won't do that because it's dangerous. And the woman goes. you're getting excited with the Zulu story let's get back to the construction site <sighs> when I woke up this morning I had a plan it's not usual but this morning I did I called William mr. Kentridge I said listen I need space uh, I have a, a fantastic I know a little idea he said, come on in. He said, come on into the center, bring your seeds, and uh, let's see if they can grow. He's really a wise man. He understands issues around seeds. Huh? That some will grow fantastic, and some won't especially the ones from Monsanto, those are just the once-off, huh? The really once-off, they would, you know, unless you like shopping, every September, every spring, you can go and shop for new seeds. But if you're clever, and you want sustainability, you can exchange the seeds with your neighbors, huh? Carrots, beetroot, um, corn. Huh? Anyway, I started mapping up my site and started measuring precisely thumb index, thumb index, thumb index, thumb index times four, huh? Plus one elbow. I think it's about 40, 60 degree angle. Just one. One, 
plus one forearm, so it's two, right? Another elbow. Uh, just one. I think this one is about 50. Anyway, plus one, two, and a half foot. Of course, all of this is equal my height. 1.65. Huh? The last time I checked. <laughs> anyway, the current, um, the current height for the construction is to the knee. So it's one thigh and the hip. One hip. But we're going to continue because maybe to the ankle or maybe straight to the point. Yes. Let's see how it goes. Anyway. Oh. So I started mapping out my side. Oh gosh, it's not so clean. But anyway. And then with the dry line powder. Just making sure that everything is precise. Huh? Anyway, I started with the excavation. I started digging. It was really, really hard, but you know, no pain, no gain, right? Oh, it was really so hard. I almost called William for help. Help! be greedy to grab his arm. Anyway, my grandmother always said it's really important to have solid foundations, so I kept on digging. I continued this. Oh, I almost got scared there because, you know, the higher you go, it gets dangerous. Anyway, unfortunately, I didn't discover any dead bodies like your Australopithecus, Mrs. Place, and Lucy. I guess we are in Maboning and not in Marubi. Duh. Anyway. Oh, gold at least. But I think Anglo Gold just finished all the gold, so there's none left. I think the Zama Zama is a Zama ring, but <laughs> they're wasting time and it's dangerous. They must rather be gardeners, at least give help. Huh? So, catastrophes, the higher you go, the risk is higher. But we continue. We've done our homework. We've chose the best site. We've measured everything precisely. So nothing normally should go wrong. But unfortunately, there's natural disasters, catastrophes, the hurricane currently. Huh? We know some countries have that. We lack in Johannesburg. <laughs> we don't have these situations yet. But then we know who to call, right? You are amazing NGOs. They're really fantastic. You know, I think in the beginning, really, we needed, we needed, you know, world, you know, to keep us global. We help each other. It doesn't matter if you're in Germany or in America, but if you hear that there's catastrophe, you run. Or you give a call to the UN. And then these guys, they come running. They specialize in help. 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 But be careful these days. Possibly they've overstayed their welcome. The help is dangerous. Their help can retard you. 
can cripple you by the time they finish helping you actually you can't do anything it's 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 ridiculous they've been in existence for more than 60 years look at us look at me i'm malnourished <laughs> But parents do the same also, huh? They claim they love you, especially with the last ones. <laughs> they give you all too much love, huh? Then suddenly you, you leave, you want to leave home. It's impossible because no one can give you so much love. Actually, it's impossible. It's impossible that someone on the street will give you so much love. I mean, the love we get from our parents, it's really abundant. That you must really run away from it, really, if you're clever. You must really run, run, run. They call it love, like I said, but... <laughs> the problem, the problem, the problem is, you know, you can't decide how much of it you want. You can't decide when you want it. It's just given to you. And of course, you know, because you can't decide. If you say, no, I don't want it, then you're arrogant or you're not, you know, you don't love them back. It's really complex. But anyway, I still love to love and I still love to help. I think we should do it, especially if it's altruistic, huh? It's a good gesture. It's physical, you know, like I was doing your help. You know, help is a physical thing. Huh? You're not helping by sitting at home, huh? by clicking that button on Facebook. That's not help. It's easy. It's only when it's physical, not with your thumb only. National organizations can take action on this is confronting humanity in the 21 SDs and Sherry. International organizations. And they really on the issues confronting humanity really in the 21st century. So recipes and security. Such as peace and help. security. Climate change. Climate change. Sustainable development. But be careful Sustainable how development. much you help. Human rights. Disarmament. Terrorism. And be careful Disarmament. how much you help. Terrorism. Humanitarian and, and health emergencies. Gender equality. Human rights. Disarmament. Humanitarian and health emergencies. Gender equality. Governance, food production, and more. And more. And more. Responsible for operational activity for natural disaster mitigation. Prevention and preparedness. Emergencies are poor. And President Coordinators Coordinator Relief and Rehabilitation Efforts at the national level. By that conflict. The agency leads and coordinates the national Europeans is placed by that conflict. The agency leads and coordinates international action to protect refugees and resolve refugee problems worldwide. The agency leads and coordinates worldwide. international action. The agency leads and coordinates international action. The agency leads and coordinates international action. The agency leads and coordinates international action to protect refugees and resolve refugee problems worldwide. Since its beginning, to reach as many children as possible with refugees, the agency has been working to counter the biggest threat to their survival. The agency has been working to counter the biggest threat to their survival. Organizations, 